During the next few minutes, you will be shown recommended pave edge installation methods and techniques. Begin the project by measuring and marking the layout. Over excavation is costly in material, labor, and equipment. Industry standards tell us that the base extension should be equal to the base depth. Base preparation is the first key to a quality segmental pavement installation. Pave edge is rigid enough to highlight base imperfections that can be quickly repaired prior to edging, bedding sand, and paver installation. The dips need to be filled in and compacted. The high spots need to be raked out and recompacted. If a soft spot is found while spiking, now is the time to fix it. Remove the last section of edging, mark the problem area, add materials needed to maintain proper grade, then compact. Without bedding sand and pavers in the way, this is an easy repair. Once the base is completed, snap reference chalk lines as a layout guide for straight runs. Reference lines are typically based on measurements from structures or fixed points. Remember to subtract sand retention lip dimension when setting those reference lines. Pave edge will follow the gradual design contour changes of the base. When creating inside corners with pave edge, mitering is not needed. Simply overlap the lips and use a square to ensure correct alignment. Pave edge is easily cut with a hacksaw. For outside corners, overcut miter angles more than 45 degrees to ensure no gap at the corner. That would allow sand to migrate. Connectors will typically come inserted into one end of pave edge. Connection to the next piece is made with a twisting motion until the two pieces of pave edge are tight against one another. If connecting to a piece that has already been spiked into place, put a spike in the back support and use a hammer to slide the pieces together. Be careful not to damage the base with the point of the spike. Pave edge rigid can make gradual curves without modifications. Rigid provides resistance to maintain a smooth curve. To do this, one spike is required every 12 inches. Before starting the curve, drive in two to three spikes, 12 inches apart, then start bending the edging slowly. Do not try to create the curve too quickly. Bend the edging a little and drive a spike halfway down. Bend the edging some more and drive another spike halfway down. Continue this process along the entire curve. If a tighter radius is required and pave edge rigid is the only edging on site, a hacksaw can be used to cut V-shaped notches into the back and lip as needed. When approaching a transition from rigid to flexible, connect flexible two feet before beginning the curve. With the first two feet spiked into place, connect additional pieces of edging. Rather than trying to create a curve while spiking, position flexible edging on the base and then shake until a natural curve forms. Temporarily spike it in place, then spray paint. Tracing the edging on the base material provides a placement line should edging move during the final spiking and allows one crew member to finish installing the edging. Pave edge rigid comes with pre-drilled spike holes every 12 inches. It's recommended that 3 8 inch diameter steel landscape spikes be used to anchor the edging. Horizontal pavement loads create shear forces that are exerted near the top of the spikes. Using longer spikes does not add strength, only cost. Pave edge rigid should be spiked a minimum of every three feet for straight runs on residential sidewalks and patios, every two feet for residential driveways, and every foot for medium to heavy duty pavements. If pre-drilled holes do not match spiking needs, the spike can be driven through the back at any location. When installing pave edge flexible, spike every back support. Drive spikes partially into the base until the framing of the project is complete and design has been approved. If there are adjustments or imperfections, it's easy to remove the partially driven spikes and reset the edging. Upon design approval, finish spiking by driving the spike heads down to the top of the back. Do not damage the edging by driving the spike header hammer into the back. After modifications to the design have been made and the framing has been completed, the next step is to screed the bedding sand. Screeding is the action of striking off the bedding sand to a uniform depth prior to placement of pavers. With pave edge, the edging can be used as a screed guide. Cut a three quarter inch notch on one end of a screed board. Place the notched end on pave edge and the other end on a one inch screed guide. 
If pave edge is installed first, up to two rows of screed guide can be eliminated. Sand is then screeded up to the edging. Reduced screed guide handling and void filling saves labor costs. Mark with quick draw for soldier pavers. Installing pave edge before sand and paver saves time and money and allows the installer to use tools such as quick draw, which marks cuts for the soldier course. If edging needs to be installed after pavers are laid, use a trowel to cut down along the back of the pavers. Pull away the excess bedding sand, being careful not to scrape up the base material. Next, slide the sand retention lip under the bedding sand. This may require tapping the back to get a tight fit. Toenailing the spikes helps draw the edging tighter to the pavers. Begin compaction along the perimeter by overhanging the compactor plate past the pavement's edge. Then, work toward the center by overlapping each pass by half a plate. It's during the initial compaction that the edge restraint is most susceptible to shifting. Turf industry experts recommend one to two inches of topsoil for healthy grass root growth. When properly installed, Pave Edge allows at least three inches of topsoil. Pave Edge provides excellent separation of grass roots and prepared base. This is important to stop grass roots from weakening the base. Contrary to some claims, grass roots do not anchor or strengthen any edge restraint. A great advantage of the Pave Edge hollow core design is that it does not act as a heat sink in the summer and will not dry out the soil and plantings above. Pave Edge is the world's strongest and most versatile paver restraint with multiple profiles to meet various design applications. Pave Edge does not compromise its strength and integrity by trying to have one product meet all application needs. Let Pave Edge's unique design features support your quality installations and save you labor costs. Pave Edge is offered by PaveTech and distributed by quality paver manufacturers and distributors across the country. Other quality products offered by PaveTech include a full line of hardscape installation products including Propes tools, Sandlot, organic joint sand stabilizer, PaveChem, cleaners and sealers, masonry adhesives, and Paver Brights, our architectural hardscape lighting division. PaveTech is the hardscape industry leader for education and training. PaveTech is your source for no compromise solutions. For detailed information, go to pavetech.com.